Hello and welcome to the fifth episode in our series on headache. In the previous episodes, we focused on different aspects of headache such as its definition, the kinds of headache, why people get headache, what are the changes happening in the brain due to which people get headache and focused on three specific kinds of headaches. One is the migraine headache, tension type headache and the third one is the secondary headache. In this episode, we will focus more on the diagnostic aspects of headache. Come, let us meet our expert. When you have a headache, please consult your primary care physician. Consult a neurologist if you are not happy with the services of the primary care physician. And please remember, go to a medical shop to purchase the medicines prescribed by the qualified trained doctor. Don't go to the medical shop to find a treatment for your headache. Please go there only to purchase the medicines. And medical shop officer or the staff is not a doctor. A good history is often the best diagnostic tool to diagnose headache. Now blood tests and scans may be required for the diagnosis of secondary headaches. That is to identify a cause. Now blood tests are safe. Imaging that is scan can be CT scan or MRI scan. CT scan carries a risk of radiation that way MRI is safer but a patient who has problem with closed spaces or claustrophobia might find it difficult to cooperate for an MRI. So the risk with MRI imaging is minimal but patient with claustrophobia might find it difficult. CT scan has a risk of radiation but often it is immediately available and cheap. But please remember a good history is the best diagnostic tool for headache. Migraine is primarily a diagnosis made from history. So we assess a patient with migraine based on the history. So to assess the disability caused by migraine, we use various scales like MIDA scale. And from this, we gather how often patient has missed his social, professional or occupational commitments because of the migraine. And this level of disability caused by migraine gives us an indication of how severe the patient's migraine is. This concludes the fifth episode in our series on headache. In this episode, we focused on the diagnostic aspects of a headache, whom to consult when a person has headache, what kind of tests are done and how is migraine assessed. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.